video we're going to talk about the uh, WordPress a function called the WP nav menu so if you go into codex uh, you can see that uh, this is the function WP nav menu and what does it do it displays the navigation menu uh, you can pass the arguments and if which is optional if you don't pass the arguments then it's just going to uh, display the def default navigation menu so what is this menu actually I'll show that to you so you go to appearance and then click on menu uh, this is basically where you can set up your menu so menu is going to display your pages and everything okay so you can go ahead and uh, you know structure it define a new menu over here uh, and save it okay so if you don't pass uh, the arguments inside of the WP nav menu function then it's just going to display the default menu okay so I'll go ahead and give you the example so this is my uh, header.php uh, of my theme uh, wherein I have gone ahead and called this function uh, inside of a nav uh, nav element and uh, the function is WP nav menu and I'm passing these arguments into it so these arguments are basically coming from here <clears throat> so there's different set of parameters that you can pass uh, you need to pass an array of nav, nav menu arguments so you can pass menu, menu class, menu ID container so desired menu except the matching order, ID slug and things like that so there are so many of them you can go through them uh, basis on what all you need in your uh, navigation menu uh, depending on that you can pass these arguments uh, what I have done is I have passed only four arguments one is the theme location um, which is primary so what is this theme location let's check So theme location to be used must be registered with uh, register nav menu in order to be selectable by user. Okay, so I put that as primary. Then you have the menu ID. Before I go ahead and explain to you, let's go ahead and check what is the output that we're getting with this WP nav menu. So if I save it and go back to my site and refresh the page, here is uh, the navigation menu that is being displayed with the WP nav menu uh, function. Um, don't worry about the style because you know I'm not styled it it's just the uh, raw content that we're getting over here so if you check this is the nav this is the nav element uh, HTML element which was defined here this is the nav site navigation ends over here okay and uh, everything inside of this uh, nav tag is displayed by the WP nav menu because that's a function we are calling over here and passing the argument into it so if you open it we can see that we have the div ID primary menu primary menu then you have the UL inside of which we have the LI tag inside of LI tag we have the A tag which is basically the page name and the link to that page as if you check these are the pages that we have and those are the pages that are being displayed for the menu okay so all the pages are being displayed over here okay so each of these has the a element which is the name of the page and link to that page so if you click on that it goes to that page okay brilliant <coughs> so now let's discuss the parameters uh, now that you know what is displayed out of it so theme location I've already discussed what is menu ID so if you check codex menu ID the ID that is applied to the UL element which forms the menu okay so so primary menu this is the ID which is applied okay so that's the ID that I'm using in the div tag okay and then you have the menu class which is primary menu menu which has been applied over here to the div tag okay and then you have the depth as well so what is this depth let's check how many levels of the hierarchy are to be included zero means all default is zero okay so basically these are the parameters I also want to show you what happens if I don't pass any parameter into it so let's go to my custom uh, functions dot PHP and uh, at the bottom I'm just going to call this function which is WP nav menu and I'm not going to pass any argument so as you can see in codex it says that this is optional 
okay so if you don't pass the argument then it's just going to display the uh, default uh, menu okay so default menu as we all know if you go on over here so this is the menu of the pages that we have uh, you know this is the hierarchy of the page and that should be displayed uh, by that so let's go ahead and check if that's really happening refresh the page and sure enough we have the same hierarchy of our pages which is the primary menu which is the uh, default menu over here right so that's the job of the WP nav menu function is to display the navigation menu if you pass the arguments it's going to give you the custom navigation menu which is basically the hierarchy of the pages uh, inside of the div tag and inside of the div you have the ul and ally and inside of the ally you have the link to that page that takes you to the page to the page url okay so if you don't pass any arguments then it's just going to give you the default menu of your site okay and you can pass these arguments uh, and uh, you know, get the custom result uh, out of that uh, it says over here that menu output if echo is false uh, and false if there are no items or no menu found okay so you can check that as well brilliant and it's defined into wp nav menu template.php so you can go through that all right so i hope that helps if you have any questions you can leave the comment and i'll see you in the next video